Hello and welcome once again to Let's Start Cooking. I'm Wayne and today we're going to be making chicken fricassee. So before we get started, I would like to ask that you like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and it really helps us out. And again, all the ingredients are going to be in the description. So the first thing that we're going to want to start with is our chicken breast. And we're just going to take normal chicken breast and it, about six ounces, you want half a pound. You're just going to take them and we're going to put them in plastic wrap. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get these about a half inch thick. What we're going to do is we're just going to lightly pound this out. Again, you want it about a half inch thick. You don't want to have thicker in spots and thinner because it's not going to cook right. But we're just going to pound this out. We're going to do this to all the chicken that we have to do, whether you're doing four chicken breasts, six, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to get all these pounded out. And what we want to do is we're going to lay these to the side till we get all of them done and trim off any excess fat. And once we get all our chicken breasts to a half inch thickness, what we want to do is we're going to take two shallow dishes. It doesn't matter if you have pie dishes or just a regular dish. And we're going to take our flour. And again, like I said, I will have all this in the description. And we're just going to take it, put it in our dish with our pepper. And we're going to use about half of this right now. We're just going to take about half the pepper. And we're going to take our salt. And we're just going to take that. And we're just going to mix that up a little bit in our dish just so it's evenly distributed. Once we get that, what we're going to do, we're going to take two large eggs. And we're just going to take them, put them right in our first dish. Because what we're going to do is we're going to end up dredging these from the egg to the flour. And then we're going to end up basically pan frying these for about four minutes on each side. We, we want these to be, this time we want them to actually be cooked. We don't want them partially cooked because we're not going to do anything else other than that. So we're going to get these mixed up and we're going to get our pan heated up. And while we're mixing these up, what we're going to do is we're going to take our olive oil. And this is extra virgin. And we're just going to put it right in our pan. And we're going to get our pan turned up. So we get this nice and hot, so when we're ready, we're just going to let this chicken right in here. So we get our eggs mixed up. And again, this is one of those one pan recipes. You don't need a ton of pots and pans. We're just going to do this all right in one pan. Once our oil gets nice and hot, what we want to do is then take one of our chicken breasts and we're going to put it in our egg. We're just going to make sure this is covered. I like to keep one hand dry and one hand wet if I can. And then we're going to take it. And we're going to dredge it in our flour. Make sure we get a nice coating everywhere. And I like to do two at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. We're just going to take that and we're going to put it right in. And we'll get another one going. We'll get two of these done. And we're going to cook these about four minutes on each side. But if you have a thermometer, I would definitely say check with a thermometer. We want the internal temperature of these to be 165 degrees. Because you want to make sure, especially with poultry, that it's done. We don't want to take a chance of serving raw chicken. So we're going to get these covered up. Get these in our pan. And we'll get these cooked up. Now we've had them for about four minutes. And we're just going to take them, we're going to flip them over. And we're going to let these cook another four minutes, four to five minutes. Again, I'm going to check the temperature on them, but we want to make sure that these are actually done this time. We're not going to partially cook these to do something else with them. So we're going to make sure we get these cooked all the way through. 
So I've had these cooking for about four minutes on each side. We did check them with our, our thermometer. We made sure they were at about 165 degrees. And all we want to do is we're going to take these off with the other ones. I'm going to put these to the side for now. Because what we want to do is we're going to just gently wipe this pan out to get a lot of the excess oil out. We're not going to take it all out. We just don't want big puddles of it. And this is where you got to be a little careful because obviously this is really hot. But we just want to get a lot of this out because we don't want all this oil in here. Now you can take this if you want. You can dump it into a can or just do like I'm doing. We're going to leave some of it in. And while our chicken is resting, and we wiped out most of the oil out of this pan, because like I said, we're not going to take it all out. What we want to do is we're going to take a lemon, and we're going to take our lemon, and we're just going to slice it, and we're going to make nice, thin cuts in our lemon. Because what we want to do is we're going to put this lemon now in our pan. And that's how we're going to get our citrus. And we're just going to let them cook in there until they just start to turn brown on both sides. And then we're gonna take them out. And again, you don't have to use the whole lemon. We're just gonna get as much as we can in there. And again, be careful because they are round and they're gonna to wanna to roll. We're just gonna let these cook up just a little bit. Obviously, we don't wanna burn them, but we're gonna cook them so the juices get in the pan, and we're gonna turn them over, just till they start to get brown, and then we're gonna take them out. And all we wanna do, as you can see, they're just starting to turn brown. You can smell the lemon coming off the pan. We're gonna let these cook for a little bit longer. Once we get these where they're starting to turn around, you can see they're getting really soft. We want to take these out. So we're just going to take these out. We're going to lay these to the side, just like we did with our chicken. Because we are going to use these. So we lay them to the side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to prepare the sauce that's going to go with this. Once we have our lemon sitting to the side and we have our chicken sitting and it's resting, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our butter and we're using non-salted butter for this one. And we're just gonna put this in, we're gonna let this melt into the pan. Because what we wanna do is we're gonna end up melting this butter and we're gonna make a roux for our sauce, but in the same time we wanna deglaze this pan and we wanna get all those little bits off the bottom because that's what's gonna add the flavor. You don't wanna ever throw that away. You don't wanna scrape your pan out after you've just done all that cooking so we'll get this all melted down, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flour, and we're gonna cook that for about a minute. We wanna get rid of that flour taste. Once we get our butter melted, we're gonna add our flour, and we're gonna keep this mix up. And we're gonna get this nice and mixed up, and again, this you gotta be careful of, because since we add flour to this, we don't want this to start to burn. So if you notice it getting too hot, you can always lift the pan just a little bit. But we're gonna let this cook down just a little. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add our chicken broth. I'm going to keep mixing that up. I'm going to get that nice and mixed up. And once we get that, we're going to add our white wine. Now, whenever you're using wine, whether it's white wine, whether it's red wine, whatever it calls for, get a good wine. If you wouldn't drink it, then don't cook with it. I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna mix that in. Now we're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes. We want this to start to thicken up. And as soon as we dump that in, you can smell the lemon coming back out. You can smell the wine. Now, the alcohol itself is gonna cook out of this, but we want the taste of it. I'm gonna constantly keep this moving, and as this gets hot, it's gonna thicken up for us. It might take a minute, it might take four minutes, it all depends. But we wanna keep cooking this till it thickens. 
starts to thicken up, what we want to do is we're going to add the rest of our salt. We're going to add the rest of our pepper. And we're going to add our lemon juice. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Get this all incorporated. Let it thicken up just a little bit more. Now, this isn't going to thicken up like, like you're thinking a real thick gravy. It's never going to get that thick on you. It's just going to be what's like a heavy sauce. Now, once we get this, what we're going to do, we're going to bring this back up to temperature. And once we get this back up to temperature, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to put it back in our pan. And we're going to let everything heat up again. And you're going to want to serve this like as soon as you're done. If you're serving more than, I would say, four that we made, you might want to turn your oven on to about 200 degrees. And as you cook your chicken, you can put your chicken in your oven to keep it nice and warm. So it's not like room temperature when you go to cook it again. And if we get this nice and heated up again, what we want to do is we're going to take our chicken and we're going to put it back in our pan. And we're going to bring this back up to temperature to heat everything up again for us. And that's why I said if you're going to serve this and you have too many, you might have to put your chicken in an oven and we're going to let this cook here for about only about a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to serve this. Now what we're going to do, now we've had these cooking for a while, what we're going to do is we're going to take one out. And normally the way that they serve this, get a little bit of our topping, a little bit of our sauce, and we'll put that right over the tenor. And you just take one of them for a garnish. Now you can squeeze that lemon if you want, you don't have to. But immediately, you can smell the lemon and you can smell the wine coming off of this. And again, this is gonna be hot, so you do wanna be careful. You get this slight hint of lemon first. You do, everything comes through. The olive oil you can taste, it's got a nice fried taste to it. It's not a heavy dinner, if you're having this for dinner or even a lunch. It's, it's kind of a light because we used lemon and we used uh, chicken broth, so it's not like a really heavy sauce. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll like and share it with your friends. And leave us a comment and a thumbs up. And by all means, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next week.